<laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Coach McMahon. This is another episode of Spark Talk. This week, I uh, just want to kind of go into the uh, topic of uh, recognizing uh, sports injuries in your athlete, uh, specifically with youth athletes. I um, wrote an uh, article for Diamond Nation magazine uh, a couple about last month, and uh, I've been kind of on the topic of having people recognize, you know, when is too much too much uh, nowadays it's you know very common for athletes to be involved in their sport you know 24 7 365 days a year and you know they're playing multiple leagues you know extended practices you know games you know that 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 don't stop and we're seeing a lot of uh, you know overuse injuries increasing and and some you know different ones that haven't seen in the past so the the point that we want to try to focus on here is just just knowing what the human body is trying to tell you if if there's you know something going on if the body is responding in a certain way when to say hey there's a red flag we have to say something we have to let somebody know that you know something is not right because if we don't and we try to push through it and we don't make the corrections or we don't you know do the proper things to prevent that from possibly occurring, then there could be major repercussions down the line, and it might not be the most beneficial thing. So it might be an asp- uh, you know, something to look at. Hey, is it too much? Am I doing too much? Or oh, my arm's a little bit sore. You know, it hasn't gone away. It's not the normal soreness that I get. You know, we all have those things as adaptations that the body goes through. But there's a point where it's too much. When is it too much? So um, I I wrote that article, um, and I've continued to do one. We have a special presentation. I'll I'll give you some information on the end of that. But I sat down with a uh, special guest. Um, He is a... um, an athlete that has been with us uh, for many years, um, and get asked him, you know, from uh, an insight from him being an athlete who was in high school, went to college, and and played, and kind of got some feedback on him about this topic. So hope you enjoy, um, and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. All right, everybody, Christian fan here with Ryan Bennett. He is a local legend. Right in my own life, and in, in, in our, and in, he's a local legend. Um, he played for Immaculata High School back. What the heck? When did you graduate? Now, two thousand and seven. Okay, About he five six years ago. So he played there, and then he went on to Villanova University to play there. He graduated eleven, uh, two thousand eleven. So um, Ryan's worked with us. He he was here when he was a real youngster, and he continues today. He just actually just got done a workout. Um, so we're gonna talk about a little bit of just real briefly the topic of. Knowing when it's safe to play, when you're hurt, you know, understanding your body. So we were kind of discussing this just a minute or two ago, and, and you knew when you were going to college, and you knew how, uh, what you had to do, and, and nowadays it's like, you, you know, if, if you don't know your body, you don't know what's going on, you, you can really hurt yourself and beat yourself. What did you do to, to, to set yourself up right, that knowing that you were going to go to college, or you, that was your aspiration of going to right. college? What was your game plan like? Did you have a certain approach, like I'm going to do everything I can, or did, you know, and, and what did you do? Uh, well, I mean, first, uh, you know, things started off with with knowing your own body. Nobody knows your body better than yourself. Um, you know, as many people as you talk to, as many trainers as you go and see, nobody knows how you feel. You know, ex- except for the athlete themselves. So I knew um, through high school that I wanted to get to college. I wanted to get to the college level mm-hmm. and you know play at that high level. So I knew that. Playing 365 days a year, you know, wasn't going to get me there. I knew that um, the 12 weeks in the football season were what I needed to do to prove that I could go to the next level, and everything at uh, everything else after that, the other seven or eight months out of the year, I was, you know, I was working out. I was going through programs, uh, whether or not it was up here, um, other parts of New Jersey, wherever it was, um, going through other workouts, conditioning, prepping myself. Um, for the next level. It wasn't all about football, it was about getting my body right, and if something was tweaked, uh, if any muscles hurt or were sore, um, I knew the difference between being sore and, you know, if I was actually hurt. Um, getting into college, I knew that um, if I had hurt my shoulder, uh, it had to be looked at immediately. It wasn't just after a sore workout, you know, it just wasn't after one day in the weight room. It was after, you know, a long season of practices and, and having a continuing nagging injury. I think that's the biggest thing, and we've seen, and, and 
we've talked about this a couple times. Um, it's just that, like nowadays, you know, a lot of things we've seen on TV, you know, lately, and and I wrote an article on this just a while back, and we're doing a presentation in the next couple months uh, on this topic, but. You see a lot more in professional sports, you know, uh, Strasburg getting shut down. I mean, we, we, we've seen a couple things where, you know, people are hurting. Right. And, you know, there, there's been a couple scenarios where it, it's kind of like portrayed nationally like, oh, well, you got to push through that. Right. you got to push through right. that. Now, now, you know, you played on different levels. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you perceive that as a young kid who's in high school who wants to go to the level right. that you went to? How do you perceive that? You're like, oh, well, i got to go through that. My knee might be hanging by a thread. What do I right. do? Well, I mean, uh, like I said, you know, nobody knows, nobody knows you better than yourself. And if you're hurt, um, you know, that's, that's priority number one. If you're hurt, you mm -hmm. need to know that by pushing through it and maybe showing that um, you're tough isn't always the right, the right course of action. I mean, if you're hurt, you're going to be hurt. And you know you might lose that season. You might lose a whole season of uh, of games. You might lose a high school season of being able to show scouts that or um, recruiters that you're not gonna you know you can't play on that level because you're hurt. You know you wanted to work out two days in a row and and bust your butt, but now the consequence of that is not being able to play the rest of the season. Yeah. So I mean when you get up to the professional levels and uh, pitchers like you know Strasburg get shut down, that's a long term investment. You know are you gonna are you gonna maybe win this year or are you going to set yourself up for you know subsequent years in my um experience it was you know do i want to bust my butt now and and go through the rest of my career with a hurt shoulder or do i want to get it taken care of now and have three more years to you know to play and prove myself yeah, exactly get it done and, and, yeah. and do the right thing do the right th oh, do yeah. the right steps yeah That's, take the right do the, the right steps yeah. speak you know from experience so mm -hmm. hey want to thank right thanks for coming yeah, man guys, hey how was that workout pretty good huh? uh, i'm still i'm still breathing so i'm okay i'm all right hey this guy barely, i'm barely breathing hey come up any afternoon and see this uh, see this guy work out i can't keep up with him i mean and well, he not. taught me. He taught me everything he, he knows. Now I, I everything I know. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not some of it, most of it, most of it. There's still some secrets in the bag. Uh -huh. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Thank man. You very much. Appreciate Thank it, brother. Again, a very special thank you to Ryan Bennett for stopping by, giving his insight onto how he recognized injuries and you know how he got himself ready, how he handled certain situations that he faced and, and how he made decisions, you know, that affected his athletic uh, career. Um, with this being said, we're to, uh, the hospital is going to be putting on a, a community presentation. Um, it is going to be a uh, lecture uh, series where there is a panel uh, of, um, of uh, physicians, uh, certified athletic trainers, physical therapists, and a very uh, special guest presenter. Um, this will take place in June. And again, as you see on your screen, the topic is, you know, game on, recognizing sports injuries in your athlete. And pretty much what we're going to talk about is understanding when is it safe to play, when is it not safe to play, what your body's going through. And uh, we'll get a little bit more in, de in depth on, you know, some of the scientific things and just some of the more practical things. So I'll put a link uh, to the registration page in the description uh you know please feel free to come you know to the somerset medical center's website and uh you know kind of read what the description is and if you want to register you can do so at that time well that will do it for another episode of spark talk i'm also going to include a link to an article that was written by dr james andrews uh that will you know kind of relate to this topic and give a very notable orthopedics uh, insight onto uh you know athletes and how they're playing you know, and, and the number of games that they're, you know, playing and participating in. Um, very, very in insightful. So um, check that out. It is in the description. And feel free to comment on anything that we discussed in this video today uh, or any other topic that we'd like to engage the staff on. We'd love to, you know, communicate with you. And we look forward to doing that. Um, and everybody have a great week. Enjoy. Be safe. We look forward to talking to you next week. Have a great day. Speed, agility, strength, power.
That's what you'll achieve when you sign up for Somerset Medical Center's Sports Performance Program. This is John Sterling, the voice of the New York Yankees. I've seen firsthand how these things can affect an athlete's performance. The nationally certified staff of the Sports Performance Program is trained in advanced sports medicine techniques that will help you excel at your sport. In weeks, you'll be performing at a higher level. Find out more at SomersetSportsPerformance.com.